<laughs> Couldn't find Aphrodite. I don't know what happened to her. <laughs> A little while ago, Mark Howell, the editor of Solaris Hill, told me that what I'm writing about the school district should, on my websites should be required reading for everybody in the Keys. He just told me. A few days ago, I talked with John Dick by email, and I asked him, I said, John, do you ever, ever occur to you to just tell the school district to take your job and shove it? He said, daily. <laughs> if you read GoodMorningKeyWest.com or GoodMorningFloridaKeys.com, you will read things you are not going to read in the citizen. Or you will hear on US One Radio or read in the keynote. Last summer I started going to school board meetings and audit and finance committee meetings. And I campaigned real hard to get that referendum passed because I knew it would be Armageddon if it was not passed. I pushed that thing as hard as I could on my websites. Some people were against it. What I learned while I was pushing that referendum that this school district is systemically dysfunctionally crazy. And it cannot be fixed by electing new school board members or appointing a new superintendent. The only way to fix this school district is turn it into a charter school district, turn it over to a private company to run, or ask Tallahassee to come in and run it. And you're not going to hear that from anybody else. But I've done my homework like a good lawyer would do. Well, you told me I'm through. 